So hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my hair. So right now I look a hot mess, as you can tell. Baby, I got to do something to this hair though. So I'm about to do my hairstyle. I'm going to do curly quick weave with the claw clip. So we about to get into it. So first, ooh, I like sitting on the floor while I do hair anyway. Well, my hair. So first, I'm going to go ahead and get it parted. So I'll use my mirror back here to look and see, um, like, if it's straight or not. So let's go ahead and part. I think I'm going to start right there. So let's make sure I have enough. All right, so right here, I'm just cleaning up my part. Using two mirrors is the best option if you're trying to part your own hair. So you can try to get it as straight as possible. So that is what I'm doing right here, just cleaning up this part, trying to make sure I'm leaving enough hair out for my ponytail and for the sides to be down. All right, so I'm going to get my edge gel to clean it up even more. Maybe I should. Yeah, I'm becoming. Put it down like this so I can see a little bit. So I'm about to just clean up this part in the middle because I don't want some crooked parts. We want it nice and crispy over here. All right, so as you can see, parting is not for the week, okay? So if you have somebody who can part your hair, um let them do it because it'll save you so much time but here i have nobody to help me so i have to do it all by myself which is no problem because baby i am i-n-d-e-p-e-n-d-e-n-t do you know what that means All right, so here I'm just finishing up braiding the back of my hair. Um, so these braids do not have to be perfect because they're gonna be covered up anyways with the cap. So as long as you get them nice and flat, that is all we are going for right here. Just so that um, when we lay the tracks onto the cap, it is nice and flat. All right, so as I'm braiding, um, I'm connecting the braids to the right and left to the last braid um, so that I can sew that one braid down all together and not have multiple braids I have to connect to each other. So that's what you see me doing here. I then got my needle and thread, and now I'm about to just sew that braid down so that it will not be lifting up when I put my cap on and cut it off.
All right, so here I'm just putting um, Wonder Weave protecting over my cap so that when I glue it, it is not going to get on my hair. So this is very important. Make sure you use this when anytime you're doing a quick weave because it'll allow you to it'll allow the tracks to wash right off once you put water and shampoo under it instead of you having to pull it from your hair and breaking off your hair. All right, once I have applied that all to the back of my head, I'm going to go with my blow dryer just to dry it up because you don't want it to be damp when you are gluing the tracks up there because it will not hold. Don't forget to cut them ears out now. You want the cap to lay as flat as possible. All right, so I got this hair from the beauty supply store. I think it was like $12, $11.99, $12.99, $12. So this is the hair I'm gonna be using for the bag. And I'm gonna glue it onto the cap. And then once that's done, I'm going to cut the cap off. So this is the hair. I actually really like this hair. Like for it to be like um, synthetic hair, it actually like, it lasts like a good while. I say I could have probably had this hair styling for about a week and a half. So as long as you take care of it and tie your hair up every night, a very quick, cheap, and affordable hairstyle. So let me get into it. I like doing this all. Have y'all ever like, did y'all ever used to put glue in your hand? and then like peel it all off, like let it dry and then peel it all off. <laughs> That's literally what this is like, but I got it all off now. All right, so when I am doing this, which I do, a, I've done a lot of quick leaves on my head. Um, so I don't like to go straight across like in the back because if you go straight across, then it's gonna be leaving the edges. So I kind of go like in a U shape. So that's what I'll be doing. So I'm gonna do the first one for you. I'm gonna show you the first one and then I'm gonna go from there. So I like start, I look at my cap and see where my part is. So I see that my part is like right there. So that's where I'm gonna glue it at cause that's where I wanna cut. And so I'm gonna start like right there. Then I'm gonna go down in a U shape and come back up to this other side. Which is like, here. So that's gonna be my very first piece. So then I'm gonna cut it because I marked it with my finger. And my scissors. Oh. And I'm gonna cut it. <clears throat> and the infamous hair glue, we all know. <laughs> I glue it. Oh, I forgot. I just bought this, so I'm gonna take the pencil out. Y'all, this hairstyle really is quick. I feel like I would be like halfway done right now, but I'm really trying to record it and show y'all everything um, because it's actually a quick hairstyle. And you can do it on your own head. You can save money and not go to somebody else. Just gotta take, it just takes time. When you do your own hair, it just takes time. So here I'm just gluing the track. Should have put something on my floor because when this glue get on something, <laughs> it is not coming out. <laughs> it is not coming out, so just gotta be careful. Anyway, I'm doing this one because I really don't want no glue on my floor. All right, so I do that. Um, put glue on the track, as you can see here. And then I just go in with some got to be and just spray it a little bit so it can hold. And then I glue it. So I'm gonna look and see where I start. I'm going up in a U shape. So I'm gonna come back down and bring it back up to the other side, which is right there. 
All right, and then I press down on it. So let me show you. All right, so when you are gluing these, you want to make sure that when you're trying to figure out the size you need, that you want to kind of put the end of the track to the side. You don't want it to be straight so that the curls will fall down instead of it falling straight down. You want it to fall to the front kind of a little bit so that it will cover up the part and you can't see the track. <laughs> all right so i keep going into a u-shape all the way to the top of my head and then once i get to like the very very middle of the hair um it's going to be hard for you to do a u-shape so i would just go like straight down on one side and straight down on the other so the very last two tracks should be pointing to the side they should both be pointing to each direction All right, so the back is now complete. So I'm just running my fingers through it, trying to get out any excess hair before I um, start to cut the cap off. And so what I like to do is I like to go ahead and twist it up so that it's not everywhere and I don't make sure I don't cut the hair as I'm cutting the cap off. So make sure you have the hair like all put away before you cut the cap because you don't want to cut a piece of the track and then it'll be sticking up, so. All right, so on to the parting, the front of my head. So I am going to try to just get a feel of how much hair I want to slick down on the sides and how much hair I want in a ponytail. So you don't really need much hair for the ponytail because it's gonna flow over um, the parts. All right, so you wanna always make sure you clean your parts as possible. Um, go in with some edge gel, whatever product you like to use to clean it up.
All right, so now that I have it all parted and I got the right size for both of the sections, I'm gonna go ahead and tie off the top of my head because I want to braid down the front so that it doesn't get into the ponytail and I can keep my, pa my part straight. All right, so now I'm just going in and trying to get my middle part where I need it to be. And then I just start braiding down one side. The braids don't have to be perfect here because they're gonna come out anyway. I just need it to be out of the way as I'm slicking up my ponytail. As you can see, I am natural and um, I do have split ends. So I'm trying to make sure I protect my hair as I am about to straighten it. So I go in with some heat protectant. Um, I think I got this from the hair store for like $5 little mini bottle because I didn't need much because I don't really straighten my hair that much I just needed some during this hairstyle so I went in with my heat protectant spray and now I'm about to start straightening it so that I can get my ponytail as slick as possible You can use the flat iron of your choice. Since my hair is not really long and I'm doing small sections, um, I decided to use my little mini flat iron through this process so I can get it as straight as possible because if you have a big barrel on the end of your um, flat iron, then it won't you won't have much hair to actually straighten at a time. All right, so now that I got that section straight, I go in with my edge gel um, just so I can make sure that the, the roots of my hair is nice and flat. And then I would just comb it up um, to get that mold that I need and before I start my next section. So I just go in with my edge gel and then I'm going to spray some got to be up there just so it can get hard. Well, not really hard, but you know, stay in place. And I'll go in with my blow dryer to um, make sure I get it stuck to where I need it to be. So I repeat this process throughout the entire top of my head for my ponytail, as you can see here. So I'm gonna be doing the same exact steps that I just did. Alright, so now I'm just going to put that section into a ponytail holder, trying to get it as flat as possible um, so that it'll be nice and laid. Alright, so this is what it looks like after I have put it in a ponytail. So now I can start on the front. Alright, so you also want to straighten the front of your hair because that is the main part that you want to be slicked down since it is right at the front. So I go in with my heat protector once again and then I start the same process that I did for the ponytail. Just flatten out, flat iron it out and making sure that it is nice and flat.
All right, so now I'm going to pull out my little baby edges. I'm in the process of growing them back, so not too much. Um, so I'm going to pull those out and put little rubber bands around them so that I don't have them in my hair as I'm slicking them back and try to keep as much product off of them so that when I go to lay my edges, it's not going to be all caked up. All right, so I'm going in with my edge gel for each part, just sectioning it off and um, molding it to the side so it can lay flat. So as you can see here, one of my edges tried to come out. I don't know how, but <laughs> it tried to come out. So as you can see, I am slicking it down, trying to get it into that mold to where it's laying flat on the side. All right, so if I was to do this hairstyle again, I would recommend using freeze spray. So if you are watching this video, I would recommend you using just straight freeze spray to lay down the front part. Um, just because the edge gel or whatever product you may use may get a little oily, kind of keeping it hard for it to lay flat and you got to keep combing through to try to mold it. Alright, so I am on to the other side. So for this side, I did not do it part by part just because I was just ready to be done with my hair at that point. So um, I just start um, by putting my heat protectant spray on and then I'll just flat iron the hair like as a whole. I don't break it up in sections on this part. On this side, I just go ahead and just flat iron it because I'm just ready to get over with at this point. All right, so since my hair is not long enough to tie it into a ponytail in the back, what I do is I'll take a rubber band and I'll make sure I pull that as tight as possible so that it will still lay flat. And I'll wrap the rubber band around it. And then once I get the rubber band wrapped around it, I will go in with a bobby pin and I'll stick it through the rubber band and then to the back of my head so that it'll lay straight flat. So as you can see here, the rubber band is on and then I'm gonna grab a bobby pin and I'm gonna actually slide the bobby pin through the rubber band and tack it that way. And I'll probably put in about two or three, I can't remember.
All right, so then I'm just gonna spray some more got to be on it, and then I'm gonna tie it down as I work at the top for the ponytail. So just to go ahead and lay it down and make sure it's nice and flat and it'll stay in place. So um, that is what I'm doing here. Get a scarf and just tie it down so you can go ahead and work on the top of your head. All right, so at the top, I'm just going to wrap some rubber bands around it, maybe about three or four um, rubber bands around it, just so I can get that nice firm hold at the base. Um, I'm not wrapping them really tight. I'm just wrapping it probably twice around. And then, um, well, actually three. <laughs> what? Maybe four. <laughs> Those rubber bands are really loose, so that's why. But I'm not wrapping it tight at all. Um, so I'm just going to wrap around at least three or four rubber bands at the top. And so I can go ahead and start my ponytail. All right, so now that that is done, I'm going to go back in with my weave wonder um, and just put it around my hair so that it is protected as I'm gluing the tracks at the top of it. So I put a good amount. And also, so I'm going to be using a setting um, strip. So I'm going to... Um, the little setting spray, setting strip. I don't know the actual name of it, but that's the weave wonder. But um, what they use to set your hair, the little black strips, I'm gonna be wrapping that around. Um, and so the weave wonder is actually gonna hold it in place so you don't have to um, glue that down. So I just wrap that around and um, so that I can get that where I need it to be. And I did tie it up, tie it with a rubber band at the end just to make sure the bottom of it is down. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in with my hair glue and just put some at the very top of it so I can at least wrap it like three to four times before I have to do the bottom. So you don't wanna put glue on the entire setting strip at the start because glue will get all over your hands and then it'll get into the actual track and you don't want that to happen. So I just did it at the very top so I can wrap it a couple of times and then I'll just do that as I'm going down. All right, so once I get to the end, I'll just take a little piece and I'll wrap it around at the base to give it that look because you don't want to see tracks at the end of your ponytail. Then I'll spray it with some got to be and then I will blow dry it. So that is what I am doing right here. All right, since the hair was longer at the top, I did go in and cut it 
um because i wanted it to be shorter in the ponytail and then the back the bottom of it to be longer so i went in and cut it to the length that i felt like i would like the best and just so the ends are not um, completely straight i went back in with my scissors and i kind of like kept the scissor open and cut it that way so that it's not going to be a straight blunt cut blunt cut because i don't want it to be completely straight so you can see i kind of got it open a little bit and i'm not cutting straight across i'm just sliding the scissors through the hair and it's kind of giving that little razor cut And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Same process, making sure I match them up. Um, so I cut it a little bit longer than I think I need, just so if I need to cut it shorter, I can. You don't want to go ahead and cut it short um, and not knowing if it's going to match up to the other side. Because then you'll have to keep cutting it so it can be even. Okay, so I'm liking it. I'm loving it so far. Um, just taking out my little twist at the back to see what is working with and baby she is working okay so now I'm about to go in and do these edges okay so I save my edges for last because I'm not really an edgy person but I do like to you know do some edges that will complement the look instead of having it all slicked down because the less is better for me um, but if you're not good with keeping up with your edges, then I recommend not leaving out as much um, hair. All right, so that side is done. Um, so I did go in on the other side with the flat irons. I just didn't have it on camera. Um, but I'm getting the process of flat ironing it and doing a little curl and then laying your edges. I'm not a master yet, but I will be. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing to the other side. Okay, so this is the final look. I am really loving it so much. Super cute. Okay. Adore braiding by who? Adore braiding by who? Danasia. Oh yeah, y'all. I really like this a lot. It's cute. It's giving. Just wait till I put some makeup on. 
and look cute. Y'all, I really did this hairstyle. This is my version of the claw clip, which I kind of like. I feel like the claw clip, um, the version a lot of people are doing, um, looks a lot better with a wig. But I can't do it that way because I have to add hair to the ponytail. So I just kind of like cut this. I might cut it a little bit shorter. I don't know, I'll leave it like this for right now because you can still kind of see that it's like shorter right here. Um, but y'all, I really like this. It came out so cute. So if you like this hairstyle and you enjoy watching my process as I went through this, because baby, getting your head a slick down like this. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what hairstyles you would like for me to try next because I'm always doing my hair. Um, so yeah, I'm back for more. Yeah, I did it once again. You already know, 